Hey everybody, this is Birch. Uh, why are people mad at Jim Starenko? Well, I'm going to walk through why, what was said, and, and you know, it's going to be interesting because I suspect kind of some of the comments and the way the people who are listening to this video probably have a certain point of view. But what I'd like you to do is, if you can, put it aside for the moment because there's a few parts to this story. And I think the most important one is the one that's likely to be kind of dismissed in favor of the outrage one way or another. So uh, Jim Stranko, obviously a, a pretty legendary talent, uh, responsible for a ton of uh, different things. I think Jim has been Jim forever. I, I don't think his personality in 2021 is different from his personality in 2010. I think, you know, it's, it, it's always been there. He's always, he's very consistent kind of in how he's been. I think that regardless of how you feel about him in 2021, his contributions to the industry are absolutely, uh, you, you can't deny them. And I, 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 I will, I am completely comfortable, obviously, with people having their own opinions on things. You should have your own view. What Jim says may either not bother you or bother you a lot. And that's fine. It's, it's, that's your call. You get to decide that for yourself. But what I, what I do disagree with is I don't think people get to then retroactively erase the contributions he made to the industry. He made quite a few. And he, he's, uh, you can't go back and say, well, I never really liked that. It. It's, I hate that. I hate the retroactive, um, I, I don't want to use the word cancellation. Everybody's using fucking cancellation these days. Oops, sorry. Sorry, children. Sorry. Anyway, uh, Jim Stranko uh, basically posts two days ago, the Chinese pandemic has stolen year from our lives. I felt it as much as anyone. Those who know me and have hung out with me at shows know the importance I lay on personal appearances and connecting at gigs with fans from every corner of the USA will be ready when you are. And there's some capitalization stuff in there. Um, I feel like when, by the way, just as an aside, when people are doing tweets or posts and they're capitalizing just kind of random words throughout things, I feel, I feel like that's super triggering for people. I don't know if it's because Trump did it or what, but the, uh, the random capitalization. And as another aside, it, the, the most annoying, stupid thing, and I know by saying this, people are going to do it in the comments, is the every other word, all caps, when you're trying to make someone sound crazy. I, I get it. I get it. I just, I don't, I don't need to be spoon fed that this is a crazy comment. We all, we all get it at this point. Like, like, like cat gifts and other nonsense. It's time to retire some of that. Anyway, uh, Jim Stranko posts this and very little happened. 24 hours go by and pretty much nobody says anything. I was prepared and actually did and now have to delete it. Uh, I made a video yesterday talking about one of the reactions to Strinko's post because Strinko basically, um, you know, he posts this and there's very little engagement. Now, just for some additional context, and you, this is important context, um, Sterenko ha has a lot of posts up and you can go back and you can see them around, uh, comic cons being out. He's been very vocal for a while, uh, is in months talking about the shutdowns. He, he's upset with them. He wants to go back to comic cons. He wants to connect with fans. He wants to, I I'm sure make money off these things. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and so there, there's, there's a, a long track record of being, irritable at the shutdowns that are going on in his timeline. You can see, um, I follow him. Like I follow a ton of people. I now expect to get blocked by various creators who are now running block chains on Stranko, but I, I follow creators guilty as charged. And if you want, you know, if somebody's going to get blocked, that's stupid. Uh, just saying, uh, so this is not new. I've seen these posts for quite a while coming up from him. It's also true that he's made several posts that I would say are more right wing leaning over the past. I don't, I don't know how you put it again. There's, there's suddenly people are dragging up a bunch of things. He posted like five or six years ago looking, Oh, look, he's always been a scumbag. And, and so we're seeing this kind of stuff. Sure. I, I, again, I think he wears his ideology on his sleeve. There's no mystery about who the, about what he believes and you either believe it or you don't. Again, that's on you. Now, I don't normally do this, but I will do it here. And, and again, you can downvote or hate what I'm about to say. I am a pragmatic person. So for me, 
I would not post something out there saying the Chinese pandemic because that is a a term that's going to piss off a bunch of people. I think it's I get why people use it. I get why people are upset with it. I get the whole drama around it. I think it's not a drama that anyone should wade into. If at home drinking your coffee or your wine or whatever it happens to be, you want to uh, you know blame China for all this, you're welcome to do so and go nuts. But in public, if you're saying something like that, you're itching for a fight. So unless you're actually wanting to have a fight, don't post stuff like this. I, and I, by the way, it, it, I, I can sense a bunch of people are already upset. It is the same reason you don't go on Twitter and say things like uh, Trump should be shot or uh, we are going to get all the Trump voters. And don't post stuff like that. It's counterproductive to you know getting comics sold. That's, that's my flat stance. It cuts both ways. This is not just the left wing stuff can't be said, but the right wing stuff can be said. I think if you're doing this, you're taking money out of your pocket. And I think that's a dumb idea, but it is your money. It's your pocket. So you do what you want. This is just my own personal viewpoint is, you know, if I'm, if I've got a business, I try not to wade into politics. Now, over on Twitter, I've, I've said various things. I mean, I think people know at this point, my general political standpoint is I hate everyone. Um, and I realize that's a take in and of itself. But regardless, this is what has gone on with Jim. So the, the part that I started to do the video about was I noticed a very peculiar uh, tweet that basically comes in. And it's from this nonsense account, uh, you know, Martian Boobsier, uh, all right, with a clown picture as the, the name. And basically, this person uh, responds to Sterenko with at bleeding cool at CBR, and then responds again with uh, adding Jim Lee and a bunch of other people, uh, kind of Chinese, Philip Tan, uh, Jim Lee, others. Basically, not saying anything, not responding to this post, but basically just kind of trying to signal boost this to, you know, various muckraking type sites. Um, and, and I saw this and it, my comment yesterday in the video was, what the F are you doing? Like, wh why are you doing this? See, see, I'm now censoring myself for the children. Um, why are you doing this? Why, why do we need to signal boost these comments? So I, this, is, this is my honest to God question. What are you trying to accomplish here? Because if these are abhorrent, terrible comments, you're seeing this from Jim and you're like, this is really terrible, this is gross. Um, why would you wanna amplify that further? Are you trying to get people who are unaware that Stranko thinks this way to, to know that he has these thoughts? That's absolutely what's on this person's mind. Are you trying to just dig up dirt in the industry and get it all spread around so everything looks gross? That is what happens. Are you trying to, I mean, what, what is the point? If you disagreed with Stranko, here's a mature option. You know, don't follow him, unfollow, um, and then walk away or mute, or block if, if, if you want. Just stop. Why do you need to go make a case with Bleeding Cool to get them to write an article? And sure enough, uh, Bleeding, you know, Rich Johnson complies. Uh, basically, you know, a, a, a day later, two, a day and a half later, almost two days later, up comes Rich Johnson, comic creators on Jim Stranko's Chinese pandemic, choice of words. Now, it's interesting if this term, the Chinese pandemic, is uh, offensive, okay, a lot of people, including all the creators that are then quoted in the article, um, say it is, why are you putting Chinese pandemic in your headline of your article? Aren't you just continuing to spread around this ugly term? That's exactly what you're doing. Why, why are you doing this? And then, you know, because it's a nice, easy article to write, uh, Rich then takes a number of tweets from a bunch of creators who are all coming in to basically tell, you know, Jim Strinko to go fuck himself. I'm sorry, children. And this this entire thing seems pathetic and sad. Um, it's again, I wouldn't use those terms. I don't think it's a good thing to do. I think you're taking money out of your pocket. And I think it's 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 unnecessarily just gets people pissed off. And I don't think that's helpful for anyone. I just I why I wouldn't say this. Okay. Um, 
everybody knows what it's doing. I, 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 some people have come in going, ah, you know, they, that's just being accurate. No, you, you, you know, you're pissing people off at that point, you know, you are. And, and if you, if you know it and you choose to do it anyway, you know, it's your call, go nuts, but don't feign ignorance. Like, Hey, I'm calling it this. And then I'm completely shocked why everybody would be pissed off. You know, what's going to happen. I, again, maybe Jim Strinko does not cause he's isolated from all this. Who knows? All I know is sure enough, in comes a bunch of people much later who had pretty much ignored all this or hadn't seen it. But now, thank you, Bleeding Cool, and this doofus who decides to, you know, at the freaking Bleeding Cool. Um, now every creator gets to come in and tell them to shut up and you're less welcome, you're racist and you're ugly and you're ignorant and dick move. And, you know, here comes Nakatomi Tim, who I have no idea what actually does for anything. And you're, you're racist and no gym. And why? Here's a, you're a piece of shit and you should just shut the fuck up. Men like you are the reason in, innocent Asian Americans are getting attacked across the country. I, again, you can have this opinion, but, but what, what, what good is this fight doing anyone? If, is Jim Sterenko, what, what what good is it anyone doing? I, again, I, I am completely understandable if, you know, Mohamed Asar or uh, Chris Rael or Mark Brooks or any of these people, uh, Tom Rainey, are uh, pissed and don't like this. It's somebody in their industry doing this. I totally get it. But did we need him posting this? By and large, nobody seeing it. Bleed, you know, somebody tags in bleeding cool to come, you know, basically get everybody excited, get your torches out. And then these, these tweets and what, what good comes of this? And I'm honestly asking what good comes of this in the end is Jim Stranko canceled. Wasn't he already in the sense that like he, he's not on books. Like what, what, what more is done? Do we want to pull his you know, omnibuses, this is assuming Marvel even knows how to get them out in the first place. What, what, what is it that we want here? And I, I'm again, please understand. I'm asking this honestly, legitimately. I, this is not a video saying, Hey, everybody's beating up on poor Jim Sterinko. You know, if you're going to write this Chinese pandemic thing, people are going to beat up on you. So I don't, I'm not going to pull out my tiny violin and say, oh, I'm, I'm, I can't believe anyone's beating up. I, no, you, you, you know, what's going to happen if you use those terms, but why did we need to, why do we need to signal boost this thing and make a big fuss out of this tweet? And this happens all the time. I debated doing this, this video because, you know, I don't want to add to the noise, but the noise is now already burning everywhere. So I'm using this video as an, as an opportunity to say, wh what are we trying to get out of this? Honestly, is this meant to be a warning for new creators? Hey, don't say stuff like this. Is it meant to be a, if you mess up and use the wrong terms, bleeding cool and the ghost of Rich Johnson is going to come in and attack you? Like what, what possible value came out of this for comics? What's going to change? What's going to improve? I, I can tell you right now, regardless of all of this stuff, Starenko is still going to be invited to cons in the future. He will still sit there. He'll still have people come to his table. He'll still do autographs. The various people, uh, you know, uh, Kwanzaa and, and others are still going to call him racist uh, as well on Twitter when they see he's at a show. There will be little letters written to show organizers saying, do you realize this guy is a racist? And the show organizer is going to sit there and go, huh, do I want to have a name that people know show up that people want at the show? Or do I want to not invite him and make these other people mad? I mean, goddamn, what does this do for anyone? Seriously. My take is not just ignore this stuff. But I, I do, I can say this is not the, this is not the way this is not helping shit. I, sorry, children. I, I don't, I, I just, I want to know what is the end game here. And, and this is not me railing against cancel culture or anything else. It's like literally what is the end game here? What value comes out of this? You, you go off on Strinko. Oh no. He's not going to be the artist for the summer Spider-Man event. <sighs> of course, I, I just, again, what are, what are we doing here? The only person who benefits this is Rich Johnson makes some extra coin 
for bleeding cool by putting Chinese pandemic in the headline that this then is going to get picked up on a Google algorithm search and you're going to see this ugliness smeared out across everywhere. Is that useful? Honest question. Is it? I, I don't know. I, look, you can have whatever opinion you want about all this, of course. My question is purely, does this benefit comics in any meaningful way? And I'm, I'm, on, I'm, I'm completely honest. If you think, yes, it does, please, in the comments, let me know. Educate me. How does this help anything? If you have the answer, I'd love to hear it because I'm just looking at this and looking like it's just basically a bunch of people smearing feces all over the wall. And that's 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 kind of how this all comes to me. Uh, again, for the timeline, this post was made and, and look at Jim's other posts, which you saw up on the screen. Six likes, 18 likes, 24 likes, uh, five responses, no engagement. Nobody is paying attention. Nobody major is paying attention to any of this. But now, here we are. Are we glad? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe if you feel like it. I, I Again, I'm just, I'm fully on board with people are going to come in the comments to either explain to me how the woke mob is terrible or I'm super racist. I, I get it. But I'm asking a legitimate question here. What's what value is added? Thanks for listening.